Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Stephen Bridge coming to you with the uh, post 4th of July Monday Night Raw coming to you tonight, July 6th. Ongoing coverage here on the Stevie Breach channels. We're watching Monday Night Raw. Uh, it's 6.05. We're an hour into the show. Honestly, nothing much has really happened tonight. Kane is on vacation over in um, Hawaii, so he's not going to be there. So we're still waiting for big Brock Lesnar to make his appearance on Monday Night Raw. But we just had a match between Sheamus... Uh, going up against Roman Reigns. Uh, two big heavyweights going out there and really battling each other out. Um, the match really was uh, one of those like, big 80s style wrestling fights where both of these guys were giving it to each other. And I was really wondering what they were going to do to, to have a finish of this match. Um, you know, that Roman Reigns really isn't being protected right now. He's in that sort of state where it's like, we're going to be giving you something sooner than later. So uh, basically, you're going to lose a lot of matches for us. So basically, by losing a lot, it sets up what's going to be happening for you in the future um, because you're going to have a lot of people being able to say, hey, I beat you on Monday Night Raw one time. So I wouldn't have been surprised if Sheamus was able to get the win here. At the same time, Sheamus has the Money in the Bank briefcase where basically at any time, if there's an injury or any time they write it in, Sheamus is going to be able to run down and cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase, becoming the World Heavyweight Champion. And the odds are really in his favor that he's really going to be able to do that anytime. Uh, that they feel he needs to, uh, with only Cena and Sandow as the only two guys not being able to cash in to become champion. So, um, I don't know. I, was, I thought this was going to be it. Turned out to be one of those matches where uh, there wasn't a finish because of outside interference and just everything going down. Uh, midway through the match, uh, the Bray Wyatt music came on, and we saw Bray Wyatt creeping towards the ring with his uh, uh, big lantern. And uh, Roman Reigns said, I've had enough of this. You know, it's been weeks of weeks of Roman tormenting uh, Roman Reigns, saying basically anyone but you. So Roman just got out of the ring, ran all the way down the aisle, and Superman punched Bray Wyatt right into the face. Um, um, when he, when he punched him in the face, um, you know, basically like a wig and the hat fell off and we were able to sort of get the picture that it wasn't Bray Wyatt, but we never got to find out who it was that Bray sent out instead. You know that you're going to get your butt kicked, so why in the world would you ask for that job in the first place? But, um... Uh, Bray Wyatt came up on the screen after the Wyatt's thing flashed once again and basically said, you know, his little promo that didn't really mean a whole lot of anything and uh, basically was saying, you know, uh, that uh, anyone with him and at Battleground, they were going to have their match. And once again, Roman Reigns was able to sort of get one over on um on Roman Reigns, but at the same time, uh, once the, the thing came off, the, the referee called for the bell, basically saying that it was a count out. Yes, Monday Night Raw has another count out victory, two weeks in a row, I do believe, um, with Miz being counted out uh, after his beatdown uh, last week. Um, from there, uh, basically, uh, Sheamus was uh, out there posing with his Money in the Bank briefcase, and out of the back came Randy Orton making his return. Uh, to Monday Night Raw. I can't remember if he had two weeks or three weeks off, but it's widely reported that uh, he did get engaged to be married again. He was on vacation in Bora Bora, and um, you know he makes his return coming down to beating up Sheamus and leaving him laying out there, um, setting up their match for Battleground. Sheamus versus Randy Orton. I know people right now are, are contacting their local Ticketmaster agents uh, trying to book flights and, 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 and buy tickets in order to see this for this match. Orton uh, versus uh, Sheamus is a match that I think we've seen almost 2,000 times. Um, it's just one of those matches that anytime you put these guys together, uh, nothing really good is ever going to come out of it. There's nothing that these guys are going to be able to show us that we've ever seen before. Um, but, you know, Orton doesn't want to get left off another pay-per-view. Um, Sheamus is, is Mr. Money in the Bank, so he's got to do something. So WWE, with their lack of heels and their lack of uh, baby faces that they're able to put up against these main event talent guys, Leaves us with this match yet once again. So we'll see what happens. Battleground, Sheamus versus Orton, set for 2001 match.